a thunderbolt about the future of the U.S. Postal Service and whether it can survive. Today, a tidal wave of loss, eight and a half billion dollars, even after all those layoffs. So what happens now? Will service be cut back right away? Lindsay Davis has been looking for answers. Lindsay, good evening. Good evening, Diane. The post office is the biggest civilian employer after Walmart, but apparently it's not too big to fail. The post office says without a congressional action, it could be bankrupt by the end of next year. Even after cutting more than 100,000 jobs, the Postal Service says it stands to lose a whopping $238 billion over the next 10 years. It's in a critical situation and we need some fundamental changes made to the way we operate. The problem? People just aren't sending letters. After all, you can send an email and get a response before a paper envelope even gets to the mailbox. I foresee that they could potentially become irrelevant or obsolete in the future. The post office delivered six billion fewer pieces of mail this year than last year, continuing a steady decline and making it more of a junk mail service. The average person receives 41 pounds of it each year. Advertising mail is less profitable than first class mail and now accounts for more than half of all mail people receive. Since the founding of the nation, the post office has been an integral part of American life. But now it's the recipient of a postcard from the edge, written in red ink. And what the Congress needs to do, I believe, is to, to back off, to encourage the, the Postal Service to be more entrepreneurial, to act more like a business, and to give them that flexibility. Taxpayers don't fund the post office, but they could be on the line if the agency defaults. The post office is asking Congress to end Saturday service, raise the price of the stamp, and delay its obligations to future retirees. The Postal Service and all the activity around mail is 7.5% of GDP. It's a huge industry, um, and we, we have to exist because we're part of the fabric of America. The post office is not about to go out of business. The general school of thought is that when they run out of money next year, Congress will be forced to allow them to make whatever service cuts are necessary to keep them going. Diane. So that's next year. Thank you, Lindsay.